Hey guys, and it's Sides here. Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Beta 1.8 pre-release. Blah blah blah. Number two, whatever. I'm gonna create a new world. Gonna make it creative. Gonna call it Creative World. Creative World. More options. Let's generate the structures. Have it on normal. Whatever. Do I want to seed undead sides? See what that does. Let's create a new world. So I'm just playing around with creative yet. I haven't done so so far, so this is completely new to me. I've no idea what's gonna happen. So um okay, this is my undead sides world. So this is creative, so like I should be able to fly, but yeah, there we go. Up, space, down. So you double tap space to start flying, and then you use space to fly upwards, crouch to fly downwards. So that's a pretty cool gorge there. So I could use this creative mode just for finding interesting things, I suppose. Wow, this is an amazing gorge. Look at this. Ravine, sorry. Gorge, ravine, same thing, really. Um, so now I can place infinite amounts of item, I do believe. So we could, like, spell out a big hello here, if I really wanted to, I suppose. So the flight is a bit floaty, but I'm not bothered. Let's not spell out hi, so, or spell out hi instead of hello. There we go. Hi. Um, so, let's have a look. These are all the new items, flipping egg. Or all the items in the game now. So, if I shift click these, do they go back in? No, how do I get rid of... Oh, I just... Okay. So just get rid of all those items for now. Those are the standard creative items that appear when you start playing creative. But let's have a little look around just to see what we can see. There's another nice big ravine over here. This is a big scar in the earth. Look at the lava flowing out there. Ooh. This is another very nice big ravine. There's a creeper who's claimed this ravine as his own. I'm not going to contest that. Right, so let me give that other control. I'm going to put this at P again. Uh, let's put pick block at F. F, what does that do? Um, pick block. Can I just look at a block and then pick it? No? Um, so I open my inventory. F. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the uh, the F thing. The pick block thing. Doesn't seem to do anything at all. Um, what can I cycle time with this as well? Supposed to be able to cycle time somehow? I can't remember how you're supposed to be able to cycle time. I think it's with one of the some of the function keys. I'm gonna just gonna have a little look around to see if I can see anything interesting. So in creative mode you don't get an inventory per se, you get a list of blocks. So you've got your ordinary blocks up here. Then you've got stone bricks stone blocks, oh I picked up a stack of 64 there stone bricks, those are all stone bricks then clay, ordinary items, and you've got the new slabs you can make now brick slabs, bricks slab <laughs> bricks slab and stone bricks slab that's cool and um, what else have we got in here get the web again, oh there's something with mushrooms I missed so I'll be doing that on my server in a moment, there's a melon Yay, melons. Defence gates, you can put gates in fences, that's pretty cool. Let me just go grab a couple of pieces of fence just to make that example a little bit more obvious. So you can as well as the slabs, you can get these stone bricks stone brick stairs, not stone bricks stairs, and brick stairs, not bricks stairs. So you get bricks, slabs, and bricks stairs. Blah, blah. It's confusing me. Um all the new the all the old armor pieces there. Is there anything new down here? Oh, you've got watermelon slices, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, as promised. All the new food items that we've already seen along there. So that's the old pork chop, cooked pork chop graphic, and the new cooked pork chop graphic is there. And the ender pearl, of course, which I have no idea what that does. So I don't know what this pick block does. Maybe it allows you to... I don't know what it does. Um, uh, Placing... I don't know. Can I get on the floor, please? Oh, there we go. So if you hit the floor, then you start running around as normal. So that's a stone block. No, a stone brick block. What's it called? Stone brick. That's a stone bricks. That's a mossy stone bricks. 
Oh, these are all just stone bricks. So that's a mossy stone bricks, and that's a cracked stone bricks. Um, this is a melon. Melon. And usually, if you break that not in creative mode, you'll get melon slices. Num, 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 num. Um, so let me build a little bit of a... Whoops. Right, yeah, creative mode. It's going to take a while to get used to being in creative mode. I must say. So there we go. And a fence. So we've got a little gate in the fence now. Whoops, no. There we go, you can open the fence and walk through. I think that's a really nice... It looks cool. It looks a bit dodgy, but, you know, it's bound to look a bit dodgy. I think it looks cool. I um, wonder what it looks like if you put it between a set of blocks. But that look cool. That looks interesting if I clicked it properly. That does look quite nice. And just like a fence, you can't actually walk into like half of it. You can only walk into the one edge of it. One thing I was thinking was with like these iron grates and glass panes, shift click, get a whole stack of them. Um, since um, the part of them that isn't filled with uh, yeah, what, what, whatever it's called isn't filled with um, like a collision block. Um, you could actually make some quite cool puzzles out of this because before when you had like fence jumping and stuff you had to jump on fence posts you were actually jumping on a full square block but with these I do believe you could actually fall off whilst you're still inside the block if I stand here and crouch yeah you could actually fall off whilst you're actually still stood inside the block so this would make for you know quite interesting walking along puzzles you know, if you had to jump from point to point somehow, like if then I had to jump to this, it could be quite tricky. Oop, see, I've fallen off. So, back again, can I jump? Can I get, can I do this? Can I do my own puzzle? There we go. You know, like nice, interesting jumping puzzles then. Just thought that was worth mentioning. Um, yeah, so these are some of the items in creative mode. As I said, mushrooms is something I want to show off with mushrooms. Um, well, let's just go for a quick fly, see if there's anything else we can see. Obviously you can see the biomes are a lot bigger. This is all huge forest area here. And there's just ravines and stuff all over the place. Is there anything I can see down in this hole? That looks like where is a meteor struck or something. It's gone... <laughs> blown a hole in there. So here's yet another ravine. There's another abandoned mine shaft. Shall I go fly down into the abandoned mine shaft? Oh, this abandoned mine shaft. Although this abandoned mine shaft seems to have been flooded somewhat. So let's see the extent of this place then. Whoops! Can I get in here? Thank you. Oops! Stuck in the cobweb. No, I want to land on the floor. Thank you. Right. So this should be a lot easier to navigate since I can just bust open blocks everywhere. Uh, will there be monsters spawning in? Uh, in here. Why I need a stack of 64 if it's like an infinite item, I don't know. But, um, ooh, strange noises. Right, so I hear spiders already, so it looks like there's a spider spawn around here somewhere. Can I get killed in creative mode? Is another question. Ooh, here's a chest. Some quite interesting items in there. So, ooh, ooh, is this a mine shaft going straight down? There's a skeletons up there couple of skeletons. I'm guessing they can't hurt me in creative mode, because like, uh, I should be invincible. This is really nice, I like how they... Oh! Oh wow! An abandoned mine shaft straight into a spawner. There'd be no surprise why these guys left this place. Can I actually attack these guys in creative? Boom, 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 boom. If you'd like to die now. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why don't I just like... Can I place lava? I've got a lava bucket. There we go. Burn, baby, burn! Oh, it's spreading far too slowly. Oh, this is an invincible lava bucket. That's not what I wanted. Now I need an ordinary bucket to pick it back up. Pick it back up again. Whoops! What am I doing? A bit rubbish at this creative mode. There we go. I wonder if it's turned into a. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Not bothered. It's in this chest. Wheat, bread, gunpowder, iron. What about this one? A gold music disc. What a pain! What a pain! 
What a real pain. Oh god, the abandoned mine shaft's burning up. <laughs> Never mind, nothing I can do about that. Where'd my torches go? Give me some torches. Why am I giving myself 64 torches? I really don't need 64 of them. What is down here? Let me fly across here. So I can see. Ooh. Ooh. Land. There we go. What's up here? This is the way I came. Yeah, this is the way I came. So what's further down this way? Definitely a spawner. Hello, cave spider. I just destroyed your spawner, your home. Do you mind moving out of the way, please? So what else have we got down here? Shall I just go up, I think? Try and find a way out of here. There's a creeper trying to blow me up. There's another creeper. Open up some space for the creeper. Thank you. Right, so let's get out of here. Wonder how deep good grief we were very deep. I suppose we were at the bottom of that ravine. It's like night time's coming. Okay. Okay, let me try something. I'm going to just disappear for a second. Um, see if I can figure out or remember or find what the uh, time changing keys are for Minecraft. Well, never mind that. I couldn't get that to work. Um, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go to bed. Take this mushroom stew. Because, of course, I had full health when I was trying to eat that flipping mushroom stew the other night. Um... We're going to try eating mushroom stew again. I'm going to go to bed. Let like daytime come. I need to grab some bone meal is what I need to do. Let me grab some bone meal. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to change the time. Apparently you're supposed to use uh, F5 and F6 to change the time or something like that. But Or F6 and F7, I can't remember. But either way, it wasn't happening. Hello, skeleton. I'm going to take your, your paw, your dirty paw, out of my house. I can pick up arrows through the floor, through the wall even. So hopefully there's no creepers about, just waiting to pounce on me. Whilst I show you this, these few things. So I am actually got a little bit of health down. <gasps> I'm eating! I'm eating the mushroom stew. So you can eat mushroom stew. Me and Leanne were probably just, you know, not noticing that our food bars were full or something like that. But they don't stack is the problem. The bowls stack. So I don't see why the mushroom stews don't stack. It's rather annoying. Anyway, what was I going to show you? What was I going to show you? Right. Let me find a good decent spot for this. Not here. Let's try up here somewhere. If I dig up a piece of grass. Like so. And plant a mushroom on it. Boom! Massive mushroom. How cool is that? I don't think I don't know whether you have to plant it on dirt or whether you can plant it on grass. Nope, you can plant it on grass as well. So there we go. These are the massive mushrooms. The biomes that generate these place these huge things don't actually generate yet, but you can make your own massive mushrooms. And this is kind of creepy because I've never been one for kind of fungus and stuff. Um. The interesting thing about these mushroom blocks, not that you can gather them, you can't gather them yourself, but um, there is an interesting thing with these mushroom bro brocks. Brocks? What am I on about? It's Pokemon. Um, is the blocks that surround them are actually quite unique in that they display different graphics depending on what other kinds of blocks are near them. Because there's this graphic this kind of poofy inside of a mushroom graphic and the, the lovely red graphic, the red spotty graphic. And as you can see, all of these blocks around here, I can even show you on top, they all have different things. I mean, these ones have the spottiness on these two sides, whoops, and the, um, the foaminess on the inside. They've all got foaminess on the inside, but, you know, the right hand side of these is red and the left hand side of those is red. I hit skeletons. Same with these. Actually it might not be the same with these. These might be the same all the way around. I don't know. But um, certainly with those where they're on top. Yeah, these could all be the same quite easily. 
but those on top they have different graphics which is fairly interesting and you can knock whoops damn it you can knock these down and you get a chance to have but well, these do have different graphics on the insides and stuff so like as you eat away so these ones in the middle have only got the brown graphic on top where are those skeleton sounds coming from there must be a cave around here somewhere Sounds like it's coming from over here. Whoa! Holy mother of something. We found a spawner. <laughs> I'll leave that for a second. But yeah, you can... Let me just try and get a bunch of mushrooms out of some of this. Because you're supposed to be able to get mushrooms out of... Like, randomly get mushrooms out. There we go. There's a couple of mushrooms coming out of it. They're quite rare to get mushrooms out of. But you can get mushrooms out of... And it's interesting the way the graphics work. It's just whoops! Oh my god! I thought I fell into the spawner hole. I just dug. Where is the spawner hole? I just dug. There it is. Let me mark it. Oh, whoa! Glitchy skeleton. Yeah. So you can see here, each block has got different graphics on the side, depending on where it is. And I'm guessing that must be in the ID for it. Maybe. I don't know. But it's very interesting. So we should be able to get red mushrooms if we chomp away at enough of this. And the stalks... Oh, you get... Ah, ah. Do I get brown mushrooms out of this stalk? I wonder. I'm guessing you must get brown mushrooms out of that stalk. Of course I can't grow it there. There we go. Any brown mushrooms out of this stalk? I'd assume you get brown mushrooms out of the brown stalk as well then. So these mushroom things are... They actually, I'd, I've never really liked mushrooms at all. So they actually creep me out quite a lot. So if I can uncover the entire of the roof of this spawner, then the poor monsters in, on the inside will be completely open to all the elements, and they'll just burn up as soon as they spawn. And hopefully, eventually they won't spawn. I swear I just got pushed by something. Was it you? Chicken. Where did you go? Where did you go? Naughty chicken. I'll send you down here with the skeletons. You wouldn't like that, would you? So eventually all these things will die, and they won't spawn, unless they're coming up the corridor from over there. That's most unfortunate. Let me just quickly uncover the entire roof. Of the Whoa, hello, 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 calm down. Calm it. Just slowly uncovering... You just laid an egg, Mr. Chicken. I know you're fully aware that you just laid an egg, I'm just proclaiming. Oh, this is... Whoa! Not not cool, Mr. Chicken. So it looks like the skeletons are coming out over here. Ow. What a strange place for a spawner, eh? Right near the surface like that. Anyway, there's the skeletons are dying here, so I'll leave them to die. Head back up here and jump down. Nope. You're not happy, are you? Right, let's see if I can punch you to death. Hopefully if I stand here only you can shoot me, your friend around the corner can't. Will you mind dying at some point, you know? Help me out here. So anyway, maybe I should like uncover a bit more light so that this guy burns away. If I can trick him into coming into here. And then he might burn away a bit. Who knows? The shadow knows. There we go, that guy's dead. Ooh, experience. So, this spawner shouldn't be causing any more problems for spawning stuff. But what we got in the chest, eh? A saddle! Ooh, cocoa beans! Cocoa beans! Yay! Does that count as finding... Okay. Two saddles. More string. Couple of buckets. Sulfur and another bunch of cocoa beans. How very strange. And some chests, of course. Oh, that is strange. There's no destroying a chest graphic for chests anymore, since they're now shrunken. And the new moss stone, as you can see, is, is a lot lighter than it was. So when they changed the texture of cobble to be lighter, they didn't change the texture of the mossy cobble to match, so the mossy cobble was still very dark. So this actually fits now. We've got the mossy cobble in here. A strange place for a spawner. Anyway, I'm going to head home, put this stuff safe, because I, I don't want to lose this. Leanne really would go mental if I lost that stuff. So, 
And busted up mushrooms and noob towers everywhere. Lol. Yeah, so I'm gonna head down into into my house. Just kick back and relax and have a good day. As I'm pretty sure you will as well. So until the next video, thanks for watching. Looks like you still get the chest crashes. When you try and shift click an item to put it into a chest that has already got too much stuff to put into it, that still crashes the game. So until next time, take care guys. See you soon.